What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we did receive update 1.18. Now this update is out for Xbox, PS4, and PC. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hop right into it. There's a lot of stuff in this that I was not expecting with this update. They added a lot of uh, general fixes and things in here. I will link these patch notes down in the description if you guys would like to read over them for yourself. Uh, the fun, some of the first things you can see that were fixed or some of the bug fixes when using a tactical insert in the crawl space on Rust, that player will spawn elsewhere on the map instead of where the attack insert was placed. That has been fixed. Uh, it says, when using KBM, the navigation arrow used to change which season you're in, uh, viewing in the wrong direction, that has been fixed. Fixed a bug where the kill cam showed the player that they were killed by the thermite rather than the under barrel thermite. Uh, some cases, the Xbox was having issues after being after the console had been put in rest mode, that has also been fixed. They fixed a bug where players could see daily challenges, uh, daily challenge reward, uh, duplicate rewards instead of XP. And now they will show the weapon and equipment counts in the kill cam. So if the player that killed you using stopping power, you will know that. And also if they were using dead silence. And that is one thing that I really have been wanting for a while because a lot of times there's some sound glitches and some sound bugs in the games you guys know and you're kind of curious if the player was using a dead silence or if it was just kind of a sound glitch in game. Now when it comes to weapons, they increase the max travel time for the crossbow bolts from 3 seconds to 6 seconds for longer distance shots. Bolt action rechamber will now longer be re-triggered if interrupted after the round has been ejected and removed inaccurate attachment descriptions from the solarized NBG enhanced scope optic glint visible to enemies. Also, when it comes to perks, Amped got to increase Amped reload speeds for the Strella, Pilla, and the Joker. EOD got damage resistant fixes and tunings. Also, when it comes to field upgrades, the Field Upgrade Pro stopped cases where failed field upgrade placements would cause equipment to be used. When it comes to the ta tactical insert, they added the broken tactical insert icon. Uh, shotguns now destroy deployable cover with three melee hits. Added damage stats for vehicles and thermite damage. A fixed a bug replacing deployable cover on the door two times would allow the door to be moved. Also, allow the EMP drone to be used at the start of the round in, uh, in multi-round game modes. And they've doubled the amount of stopping power ammo given to the akimbo weapons. When it comes to PC, stun grenades are now less intense and several fixes to prevent crashes and improve, uh, improve stability. They also fixed some things uh, with the campaign and several spec ops fixes. I'm not going to go into all those spec ops fixes, but there were some things for that as well. So if you'd like to see those, definitely uh, read those patch notes down in the description if you're a spec ops fan. They fixed a bug that resulted in players falling through the map uh, uh, upon spawning on tanks in Ground War. Also, uh, Warzone got some changes. New weapons can be found on the ground and in supply boxes. The 725 shotgun, the MK2 carbine, the EBR, and the uh, 50 GS handgun. Also, players who disconnect in last stand will now drop the items when leaving the game. The fix for the bug with the animation of the players equipped a gas mask will interrupt and block players from deploying their parachute. Uh, tune close up shotgun damage to prevent a single shotgun blast from downing a fully armored player. Stopping power can still make this happen. Added Warzone specific controller button layouts. The bumper ping, the bumper ping flipped. Uh, layouts will allow player, player, those playing Warzone with a controller to use the ping feature more efficiently. And I think the ping feature, feature was a little off on console, so definitely give those new controller layouts a look. Because I think this should be, if they're placed in the right uh, place, or placed on the right button, this should be a lot easier to use the ping feature. Also, players can no longer uh, stack self-revive kits. Players can, and this is in Plunder, of course, players that are spectating still get Plunder payouts from contracts but only at a 40% of that value paid. Fixes to help prevent hitching when interacting with cash deposit helicopters. And when it comes to Battle Royale in general, fix for a rare bug that allowed players to equip two riot shields, made it easier to see which items selected when using the buy station, updated button layout for equipment while using gamepad, fixed a bug for players that are not revi uh, reviving a, uh, for not reviving a banner on the top right of the screen for all allies or enemies, uh, Initiating kill streaks, prevented bullets that hit the right shield from depleting player ammo. If the player files, uh, flies the recon drone out of bounds, the player will heal the out of bounds countdown. Fix for various potential exploits. Fix for upgrades, a bug where some field upgrades were not ending at the uh, at the end of the pre-match. Players will now get a kill when someone that you've downed disconnects from the game. Reduce the amount of cash given for averting a bounty, and increase the price of the loadout drop 
within the buy station to 8500 So it doesn't look like they've changed much with the uh, the price of the loadout, but it does look like they did raise the price overall. So anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, if you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner and share the video if you have a chance. And check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. And all their information is, is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.